much in store. We have a great full body workout, some multi-joint exercises, some single joint exercises. Of course, you're working your abs, you're doing cardio, resistance training, the whole nine. So we are going to need two medium weights, two light weights. If you need a variation of those medium and light weights, make sure you have those ready. So grab those weights and we can get started. We are going to start off with our warm up, followed by our abs and push ups. Then we're gonna get right into that workout, followed by your cardio blast and then your cool down. I know it sounds like a lot, but before you know it, you're going to be done. Woo! All right, with that said, let's go. Jumping jacks in five, four, three, two, let's get it. If you cannot do your jumping jack, you know what's up. Step it out, okay? So just keep it moving. Keep it moving. If you have to modify, we're all about modification. Just to let you know that that is acceptable. Don't feel like you cannot move because you can. No excuse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Give me those knees. Get them up. If you can't jog them up, you can step them up, okay? Definitely keep moving. Woo! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and stop. All right, butt kicks. Let's go. Let's do it. Get those feet up. Let's go. Try to kick your butt, because I'm going to try to kick your butt. Woo! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, windmill time. Let's do it. Arms out and down to the opposite side. Good job. I know you, you're, you winded already. I know I am. Woo! That's a good thing. I want you to get lots of cardio, lots of resistance training. I want this to be a highlight of your day. Five, four, three, two, and one more. All right, reach it through. Let's stretch out the back of those legs. Reach through as far as you can. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it to the right, stretching out the back side of that, that leg, that hamstring in the back. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross it over. Woo wee! Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up. All right, guys, I need you to stretch out that calf muscle. One side, get those toes up. Get them up, get them up. Get them up, get them up. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it. Here we go. Feel that stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, quad stretch. Uh, before I forget, if you have a ball, go ahead and grab that ball. And you will also need a cheer. Or if you have a bench, you can use that as well. We're gonna do dips, yay! Those are gonna be for your triceps. All right, switch it. You probably understood that by the look of this cheer and that ball sitting in the frame. So you probably thought, what's that for? Where are you gonna need them? All right, three, two, and release. All right, circles. Let's keep that body. Get it warmed up, keep that body moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take them back. Good. If you can get the knees high, get them high. If you can get them low, get them low. Just get them. Get them. Five, four, three, two, one. In and out. Yes, in and out. In and out, in and out. In and out, in and out. Up and down. Get it, get it. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Woo! 
and pull it over. Five, four, three, two, one. Push it back. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side with the pull. Five, four, three, two, one. And finally the push. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. If you have a mat that's beautiful, you're about to use it. If you don't have a mat, no worries. You can use an area rug or just some extra cushion on your floor because you're about to work your abby dabbies. Grab that ball. If you don't have a ball, just go ahead and get a light weight. I'm gonna grab that as well. So, get a light weight. I'll put two up here. It's always nice to have a variation of weights just because if you need something, it's right there. So you don't have to go running and moving. It's there, just grab what you need. Okay guys, we're gonna start off with a knee tuck crunch. You can do this with a ball or you can do it with a weight. I'll show you both ways. Okay, so I'm gonna go back a little bit. Wanna make sure you guys see me in the complete frame. Okay, so with a ball, so legs are out, arms are out, and you're just gonna bring the ball and the knees into the chest, okay? If you're doing that with a weight, it's the same concept. You're gonna hold the weight, you're gonna hold it parallel to the floor, in and out, in and out. All right, so because I went back, let me move this back just a hair, give me some extra cushion, and it is time. All right, five, four, three, ball out or weight out, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that chin down. One, two, three, four, ten. If you have to modify and just do this without the weight or the ball, you can do that too. That was 15. One, two, Three, four, twenty, one, two, three, four, twenty-five, five, four, three, two, ah, that's thirty. All right, put that down and flip over. You have your push-ups. Okay? So with these push-ups, you can be on your toes, you can be on your knees, it doesn't matter, you know I don't care. What do I care about? I care about your form. So, make sure your chest is between those hands. Make sure you pull your belly button into your spine. And if you get tired, what do you do? Come on, y'all. You hold a plank. All right, so here we go. We got some push-ups. 15 of them. You're on in five, four, three, two. Let's go. One, two. Three, head up, four, five, one, two, three, four, ten, one, two, three, four, and fifteen. Good job. All right, cross crunch, that's next. Okay, you won't need the ball, you won't need the weights, all you need is your body. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're going to crunch up. Your arm will go towards the heel, the toes or the heel, and then you go back, do it on the other side. All right, five, X out, four, three, two, let's go, chin down. One, two, three, blow out, four, when you come up, five, one, Two, three, four, ten. One, two, three, four, fifteen. One, two, three, four, ten more. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, woo! That's your 30. All right, guys, flip it. You got push-ups. So, same as before. Proper form on your knees, on your toes, doesn't matter. Just make sure your form is good. Belly button pull to spine, head level with your body. Do not let the butt go up. Do not let the belly go down. You're good. All right, let's do it. Five, 15, four, get in position. Three, chest between the hands, two, and go. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, ten, one, two, three, four, fifteen. All right, flip it. You got bicycles. You guys are probably wondering, why is her one foot on top of the other foot? This is my preference. If you like to do a three-point push-up, by all means, feel free to do that. All right. Bicycles. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Five. Chin up. Four. Three. Two. And let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, ten, one, two, three, four, fifteen, one, two, three, four, twenty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and ah, that's 30. Woo! All right, you know what's up, it's time. Flip it. Flip, 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 flip. Push-ups. All right, guys, here we go. And if you want your chest to get closer to the ground, just drop on your knees. You can um, do knee push-ups to get that chest to touch the ground. So that's also an option, okay? All right. Or some of you might just be able to do chest to floor um, push-ups on your toes, and that's beautiful too. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, you guys ready? Two, go four, and let's go. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Ah, that's fifteen. All right. Okay, go ahead and grab a ball or grab that light weight. What you're gonna do? You're gonna do a. Can you plant it? Gonna. Crunch up. So you're gonna do a crunch up, and the ball is in your hand, and you're right here. So you're gonna keep the ball up in the air, and you're gonna come up, keep the ball up. If this ball, say for instance, you have a 10 pound ball, and if it's too heavy, just go ahead and grab an eight pound dumbbell or a five pound dumbbell. That'll be great too. All right, here we go. Five, four, Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four. I guess this is more of a sit up. Five versus a crunch up. One, two, three, four, ten. Blow out on the up. One, two, three, four, fifteen. One, two, woo, three, four, ten more. Come on. Ten, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, come on, finish, three, woo, two, come on, get it, that's 30. So your arms are quite fatigued from that, I know. But you guys are probably saying, we gotta do a push-up. Yes, you do. You have to do a push-up. So I give you maybe a 10 second longer break so you can shake it out because you have your last round of push-ups. And then we will get into your workout. Yes, yes, yes. All right, beautiful people, let's do it. Push-ups. All right. In position, five, four, belly button to spine, three, keep everything level, two, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, ten, one, Two, three, four, one more. Ah! Woo! Fifth, ten. Good job, guys. All right, if you don't have your weights, make sure you grab them. You have about 30 seconds to do that. You can put the ball down. You actually won't need this, but actually, you will. So keep the ball out. You'll need it for your cardio. So just get it out of the way and put the weight back. What you need is, um, you're gonna need two weights. We're gonna start off doing a, a crush grip goblet squat or a crush, yes, a, gr a crush grip, grip goblet squat, if I can say that 10 times fast. Crush grip goblet squat, so you need two weights. What we're gonna mix in with that is a bit arm lateral shoulder raise. And so let me show you what you're gonna do. So for the crush grip and for the shoulder raise, because you're doing those together, you wanna grab a weight that would allow you to do the bit arm lateral shoulder raise, okay? So go ahead and grab those weights. Crush grip, really it kind of speaks for itself, right? You're holding the neck of those weights and you're holding them and you're pressing these weights together. I don't want the weights pressed up against your body. I want the weights to be up at about chest level and you're holding them away from your body. And this is called a crush grip goblet squat. So your legs are going to be about hip width apart and you're going to go down. This is just a demonstration and then after this we'll get into the reps. You're going to hold it close to your body. Not too far, but close, not touching. You're gonna go down into your goblet squat, push up through those heels, drop those weights to the belly button area, and then go ahead and give me that bent arm lateral shoulder raise. From there, back up to the goblet squat, crush grip goblet squat, down and up, okay? I think we got it. I don't wanna spend too much time because I know you guys got this. All right, feet are about hip width apart, Weights are together. Very, very firm grip away from the chest, right at the right above the breast level. And we're on in five. You have 15 reps. Four, three, two, let's go. Weight down and arms. Weight up. Down, arms. That's two. Up. Weight down. Arms, three, weight up, squat, and shoulders, that's four. Weight down, shoulders, that's five, weight up, down, six, weight up, down, shoulders, that's seven, up, weight down, shoulders, eight, up, down, 
shoulders, nine, weight up, and that's ten, weight up, give me a squat, shoulders, that's one, weight up, squat, shoulders, that's two, squat, shoulders, that's three, squats, Shoulders, ah, that's four, one more, ah, shoulders, ah, that's 15, good, good, good job, all right, woo, all right, all right, next, we're going to do, and this is in the form of a circuit, you don't have straight sets, you have circuits, so your next one that you're going to do is a stiff leg deadlift with a hammer curl twist, so, this is your move. Go ahead and grab the weights that will allow you to do that hammer curl twist. And we're going to throw that deadlift in there as well. Okay. So, your feet are about hip width apart. Your palms are facing each other. Okay. So, I'll show you this facing the camera and then side profile. Okay, so you're going to go down, barely bend the knees, barely bend the knees. You're going to feel this in the back of your legs and your hamstrings. You're going to come up, push through the heels, squeeze the butt at the top, bring the waist up, turn them in, and go back. Don't go back into that deadlift until the weights are down and facing each other. So from the side, this is what it looks like. You're going to go down, barely bend the knees, come up, squeeze, and give me that hammer curl twist. All right, you guys got this, 15 of them. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Down, squeeze the butt, and bicep curl. Bring it up, and that's your hammer curl twist. This is three, squeeze the butt, four, five, make sure Six, when you're going down to the deadlift. Seven, the shoulders are back. Eight, come on. Nine, ten, you got five more. One, come on. Two, three, come on. Four, you got it. Barely bend those knees, squeeze the butt at the top, and give me that hammer curl twist. Great job. All right, next, you guys have a sumo squat, okay? So with that sumo, you're obviously gonna hit the quads, but you're also gonna hit the inner part of those thighs. With all of these lower leg um, exercises, you're hitting your butt, so butt, butt, butt. All right, so go ahead and grab weights that will allow you to do an overhand grip back row, okay? So let me go ahead and get those. We're here in the sumo squat position. The weights are now, the palms are going to face the body, and you're going to go down. That's your sumo squat. Come up, and then roll them back. That's easy, okay? Actually, it's kind of here. Now start to row and row. Here, start to row, row. So you're actually starting to row before you even get to the top, okay? So I think you guys got it, it is time. Five, four, three, two, let's go. Here and start to row, Ugh, perfect. Don't go down into that sumo until your weights are back to the starting position. That's three. Four, keep the elbows slightly above the wrist. Five, come on. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, come on. One, two, Three, woo, four, come on, 
and five. Good job. All right, guys. Time to get that chair out. Okay. You don't need the ball. You just need the chair. You got dips. So for dips, what we're doing, instead of 15, we're going to double that. You're going to do 30. By the time you get to 15, some of you might fill them, and others, you're going to be like, wow, that was a piece of cake. I don't even fill anything. So we're going to double the reps for our tricep dips. So for these, I need you to make sure that your butt is close to the chair and your head is up, your shoulders are back, your feet are flat. Some of you are more van, so if you want a leg out, go for it. Just don't do that if you are new to these dips, right? You don't want your form to be all jacked up. You definitely want your shoulders to be back and you want your butt to be close to the chair because if your butt is out away from the chair, and I'll show you what that looks like, you're just gonna tap out those shoulders and you don't want that. So I'll show you the good way and I'll show you the, you the bad way. Good way, shoulders back, feet are flat, butt close to the chair, down, up. Up that way. Now go back this way. You see how my 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 arms and my my butt is away from the chair drastically, and you go down like that. First of all, that form is horrible, so don't do it. And secondly, it's going to damage your shoulders or could potentially damage your shoulders. So let's stick to the good way. You got 30 reps. Let's go. Five, four. Shoulders back. Three, two. Head up and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, ten. One, two, three, four, fifteen. One, two, three, four, twenty. One, two, three. Four, twenty-five, one, two, three, four. Ah, that would be thirty. Good job, people. All right. So now, what I need you to do? Go ahead and get a sip of water. Grab a towel. Wipe off the sweat because you are not done. Round two is coming up. All right. Woo! So now that you know how to do that little circuit, the next circuit should be a little bit easier, right? Because you've already done it. So we have to do that again. So we're gonna start off with that crush grip goblet squat. And we're gonna throw that bent arm lateral shoulder raise in there. So go ahead and grab those weights. And you got 15 reps, let's go. Woo! All right, position those feet. Your belt hip width apart with those legs. Weights are up. Away from your body, but close to your body. Really, very strong grip. Crush the weights. That's why they call it a crush grip goblet squat. All right, here we go. Five, four weights are right above the breast line. Three, two, let's go. Down, come up, drop the weights. Now give me the shoulder. That's one. Weight up. So just think, squat. The weights are right above the breast line for the bent arm lateral shoulder raise. The, the weights are right below the belly button. Easy peasy. If you know that, you're good to go. All right. This is number two. Let's go. Drop the weights. Shoulder. Squats. Drop the weights. Shoulder. Ah. <clears throat> Drop the weights. Shoulder. That's five. Ah. Drop the weight, shoulder, that's six. Squat, shoulder, that's seven. Squat, shoulder. Blow out, squat. When you come up from the squat, blow it out. Drop the weights, give me a shoulder, that's eight. Come on, squat, shoulder, nine. Come on, squat, shoulder. 10, come on, squat, shoulder, one, squat, shoulder, two, squat, shoulder, 
three, squats, shoulder, S4, one more, squat, ah, shoulder, ah, that's 15, woo, good job, good job guys, all right, catch your breath, where are you also feeling this, you guys are like, oh my gosh, my arms, of course you're going to feel it in your arms because you have this deadly grip on the neck of that weight, right? So you're going to engage your arm muscles as well. So you're getting shoulders, your arms, you probably feel it in your forearms. Some of you feel it in your biceps. Obviously you're getting quads, you're getting butt. Bam, it's just a beautiful thing. All right, next, step leg deadlift with that hammer curl twist. So let's do it. Woo! All right. Five, your feet are about hip width apart. Four, your shoulders are back. Three, your palms are facing each other. Two, make sure you don't bend those knees too much. And keep the head up. One, let's go. Barely bend, come up, squeeze the butt, twist it out. That's one. Twist it out. Two. Come on. Three. Barely bend those knees. Push through the heels and squeeze the butt at the top. That's four. Come on. Five. Come on. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on. Nine. Come on. Ten. One. Good job. Two. Three. You got it. Four. Come on. Give me one more. Ah. Five. Good job. That's fifteen. All right. Weights down. Okay, sumo squat is next. We're gonna throw in that overhand grip. Back row, always make sure those elbows are slightly above the wrist. You got it, people, let's do it. All right, and if, if, it's, if you're getting thrown off because I said you can actually start to do that back row as you come up, don't worry about it. Go here, go here, and then go here. So it's all gonna work. So you can start to do that back row as you come up, or you can wait until you come up all the way and then go with it. Okay, let's do this. All right, palms face you, sumo. That means you're, you have a very wide stance. Your legs are out. Your toes and knees are in the same direction. All right, five, four, three, two, Go down, come up, one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, up, seven, down, eight, down, nine, Squeeze those shoulder blades. Squeeze them, that's 10. Elbows above the wrist. One, two, three, come on, four, come on, 15. Good job, woo! Go ahead and grab that chair. You have a tricep dip. So guys, you have 15, no, 15 times two, right? Because we're doubling the reps for chair tricep dips. So you have 30. Again, your butt has to stay close to the chair, takes the load off the shoulder, feet flat on the floor, unless you are a little bit more advanced, if you want to lift a foot. Some of you may, might even want to put a weight or a sandbag, a light sandbag on your lap that will give you extra resistance. So 
feel free to do that as well. All right? Let's do it. Okie dokie. Your arms are right in the corner of the chair. Your elbows will go back. Your butt will stay close to that chair. Your head will stay up. If you get tired, you're just going to hold your body weight up. So I don't want you sitting on the chair like we are right now. If you get tired, you're in this position. You're holding your body weight up. Okay, let's go. Five, you got this. Four, three, two, take it down. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, ten. One, two, three, four, fifteen. One, two, three, four, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ugh, ah! That's very. Let's go! All right. You got about no more than 30 seconds. Catch your breath. Guys, we have one more round. So as I talk through what's coming up next, go ahead and wipe off the sweat. Get a little swig of water because you have one more round of the circuit followed by a cardio blast, okay? So this last circuit, instead of 15, you have 20. Instead of 30 cheer dips, you have 40. So, easy, you got this. Let's go. All right, we're back to exercise number one, okay? So go ahead and get those weights. You have your crush, grip, goblet, squat, right? So, let's go. You're gonna throw in that side, bend arm lateral raise. All right, let's do it. All right, so, where are those feet? They're about hip width apart. Your toes are facing just slightly out. They're not like exaggerated like they would be a sumo. They're not straight ahead, but they're just slightly out. You have a closer stance. Your waist are here, right above the chest. Remember when you go down into that squat, you are going to have the weight slightly above the chest. Very strong grip, go down push up through the heels, and then at that point at the top, lower the weights right, be right below the belly button, and then you're ready for that next boom, that bent arm lateral shoulder raise. All right, so here we go. Third time is the charm. 20 reps, five, weight out, four, head up, three, shoulders back, two, and let's go. Blow out, drop them, shoulder. That's one. Ah. Shoulder, two, squat, shoulder, three, come on, squat, shoulder, four, squat, shoulder, five, squat, shoulder, six, squat, shoulder, seven, squat, shoulder, Eight, squat, blow it out, shoulder, nine, squat, shoulder, that's ten, halfway, squat, shoulder, one, squat, shoulder, two, don't forget to blow out, squat, shoulder, three, squat, Shoulder, four, squat, ah, uh, shoulder, five, come on, squat, shoulder, six, squat, shoulder, seven, <coughs> squat, shoulder, eight, come on, squat, shoulder, nine, one more. Squat. Ah! Shoulder. And ten. <coughs> Excuse me. Shake it off. Wow. You definitely felt those. So, all in your arms, forearms, shoulder. So, every 
So many body parts are engaged. All right, guys. Next. You got that stiff leg deadlift, and you are going to throw in that hammer curl twist. So go ahead and grab the weights for that. Obviously, you need to grab weights that will allow you to do that hammer curl twist. All right, let's do it. Woo! All right. Your feet are shoulder width apart. Shoulders are back. Palms are facing each other. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Take it down. Barely bend. Push up through the heel. Squeeze the butt. Give me that hammer curl twist. One. Come on. Two. Come on. Three. Come on. Four. Let's go. Squeeze our butt. Five. Take it down, barely bend the knees, squeeze the butt at the top. Six, come on. Seven. Eight, come on. Nine. Ten, come on, halfway. One, you got it. Two, barely bend the knees on this deadlift. Squeeze the butt at the top. Three, come on, keep your form. Four, keep those elbows down. Squeeze. Five more, come on, come on. This is one, come on, you got this. Two, let's go. Three, come on. Four, let's do it. Ah, come on, push. Ah, that's your 20. Good job. Woo -wee. All right, people. So, woo, catch your breath. Okay, so next you got that sumo squat, follow or com combined with that overhand grip, back row. Elbows, where are they? Above the wrist. All right, let's do it. You got 20 of those, then we're going to knock out those tear dips, 40 of those. Then you got cardio blasts, one minute per exercise, bam. You already know that they're going to be fun. But don't worry about that quite yet. We will get there. You're almost there. All right. Sumo style. Legs out, toes out, knees out, shoulders back, palms facing you. Five, four, three. Two, take it down and roll it back. One, blow out on the up. Two, come on. Three, squeeze the shoulder blades on the roll back. Four, five, come on. Six, seven, eight. Come on. Nine. Come on. Halfway. Come on. One. Two. Uh, three. Woo. Four. Keep your form. Five. Keep that head up. Five more. One. Two, three, woo, four, come on, you got this, let's go. Ah, ah, that's 20, good job. Woo, weights down, grab that chair, and let's get ready to knock out those dips. All right, guys, chair dips. Again, if you want to add some extra resistance, Go ahead and put a weight or a light sandbag on your lap. If you don't want to do that, that's okay. Your body weight works. That's good too. All right. Proper form. Feet flat. Shoulders are going to be back. Your hands will be on the corner of the chair. Elbows will go back. 
and the butt will always stay close to the edge of the chair. All right, time check. All right, we're doing pretty good. Five, head up, four feet flat, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, ten. One, two, three, four, fifteen. One, two, three, four, twenty. Halfway. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, thirty, ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, oh, ah! That's 40! Woo! Great job. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. You are done with that part of the workout. Now, if you can give me five good solid minutes, we have a cardio blast. So, for that first one, you, we're going to do a jack, like a jumping jack, but instead of your arms going over your head, you're going to have a ball or a light weight in your hands, and so you're going to jump out with the legs and your arms will go straight up and down. So, that's also going to hit those shoulders. So, you're got, you guys are probably thinking, well, my shoulders are already fatigued. You got this. This exercise, one minute, let's go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and grab this ball and do a quick little time check. You got this for one minute. So, you got it? You ready? Let's do it. Okay, five, legs are out, four, three, two, and actually legs are in. Sorry about that. Five, four, three, two, now legs are out, ball is up. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, Three, four, ten, one, two is for time, but I'm counting. Fifteen, one, two, three, four, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, forty, one. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, fifty, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ah, and stop. Woo! My goodness. Okay. Woo! -wee! That's number one. Number two. You have high jogging knee up with fast feet. If you want to put some light, very light dumbbells in your hand, go for it. I'm going to go ahead and grab these fives. All right. High jogging knee ups first. So we're this. That's where we are. And then I'll say fast feet. Hold them here and fast feet. All right, time check. We're on in five. Four, three, two, knees. Don't hit yourself in the face. And five, you got those feet. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Woo! If you want it to be more intense, bring them in and out. Just keep them moving. Five. Four, three, two, let's go. Three, two, one. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one more time. Three, Two, one, come on. Five, four, three, 
two, and step. Oh my, my, my. Woo! Okay, this next one, go ahead, grab one weight. A light weight is fine. Catch your breath. You guys have two more exercises. And then it's cool down time. Woo! All right. So, you should have that one weight. Go ahead and put it in your hand. So you're gonna do a squat jump, but you're also going to release the weight and then pick up the weight. So let me show you what this looks like. All right, so you're here. You're gonna squat down, put the weight down, jump up, squat down, grab it, and jump up. That's what you're doing. All right, five, four, feet together, three, two, let's go. Jump, go pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down. Come on. Make sure you want, might want to keep an eye on your feet when you put the weight down because you don't want to trip over the weight. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ah! Your thighs are on fire now, I know. Woo! Oh, mama. All right, guys, catch your breath, wipe off that sweat. You got one more exercise, and then you're done. So let's do it. Woo! That was a doozy. It's all a doozy. But you're doing this for a reason, right? You want to be in the best shape that you can be, and this is going to help you get there. So go ahead and let's get ready for the last one. Mountain climbers to a reverse burpee. You guys are like, she is crazy. I am a little crazy. Sometimes it's to my own detriment, but it's a good thing. So you're gonna be on the ground. You got your 10 mountain climbers. I'll count both feet. And then you guys are gonna do a push up and then go into a low squat position and jump up. You can modify as well. So let me show you what this looks like if you have to modify. All right, so if you gotta modify, that's your mountain climbers. And then knees, push up here, step in, step in, low squat, and toes. So that's how you modify. All right, if you're not modifying, if you're doing what I'm doing, you know, just get it in. All right, we'll go form. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push. Ah! Man your feet and jump. All right, I'm gonna tuck the shirt in. All right, again. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push up. Feet. And jump. All right. That's two. You got it again. Let's go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Jump. This shirt is not acting right, but I'm, I'm going to get it. I will conquer the shirt. Here we go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push up. Ugh. Woo! One more, guys. Let's go. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push up. Lift and jump. Guys, you 
you are done. Woo! Wee! Woo! Great job. It is time for your cool down. So let's get into it. Reach through. Reach a little through your legs. Feel the stretch in the back. Woo! Wee! Five, four, three, two, and one. Take it to the right. Stretch out that hamstring. Five, four, three, two, one. Cross it. Five, four, three, two, one. Toes up. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, quad. Let's go, quad. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it. Five. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Circles. Guys, you guys did a great job. So proud of you. We sweat together, lose our breath together, work out together. Take it back. It's a beautiful thing. So. Thank you so much. Take them back for allowing me to work out with you. Up and down. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that I did. Five, four, three, two, one. In and out. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Up, down. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull it. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Push. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. I love you. Thank you so much. I hope you really enjoyed this workout. I hope to see you again very, very soon. So. Please come back and see me. I'll put another workout on my YouTube channel very soon. Work out with your hubby, your wife, your friend, your mate, your child, whoever. Just get it done. It's so important to have a good mind and a good healthy body to go with it. So with that said, on the count of my one, two, three, we're going to say get it and go. One, two, three, get it and go. Woo! Thank you so much, guys. I hope to see you again soon.